If you guys like sideshow collectible statues and all types of statues, then you guys have come to the right place. In today's episode, stay tuned because we got a review on this beautiful sideshow Catwoman premium format figure. See you soon. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm Giuliano, and this is my channel, Collecting with Jewels. And if you guys like statues, comics, Pokemon cards, and all things collectible, you've come to the right place. You won't be let down. It's the first time, guys, that I'm finally doing a statue review. As you can see right in front of me here, we have the beautiful Catwoman premium format figure from Sideshow. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll be giving you a couple of um, pieces of information if you want to call it on the statue itself we'll get into a quick little review i'll give you a couple of b-roll shots close-ups of the head the body the base of the statue as well guys this piece when it was released i needed to have it in my collection i had the previous version i guess if you want to call of catwoman i know if you guys know sideshow they like to uh, come up with different pieces every couple of years of uh, of some major characters in DC or in Marvel. So I said it was a no-brainer. I'll show you guys the one that I had in my collection already prior. And I'll show you again uh, why I traded this one. Because this piece right here is so, so much better. And you guys will see exactly why here shortly, okay? So um, before... We begin, I'll just give you guys a little piece of information on the statue itself. All right, guys, so right here, basically what we have, this is, like I said, the Catwoman premium format figure by Sideshow, a little numbers, if you want to call it, on the statue itself. So basically, this piece right here, guys, is the exclusive version. If you guys know Sideshow collectibles, if you go onto their website, they always have two ver most likely they usually have two versions of a piece when they release it um, one being the collector's edition the second being the exclusive version and usually comes with an extra piece to the statue either a head a switch out arm uh, a new gun and and so many other things um, basically so in this version it came with an extra head uh, and i'll show you guys the head in a quick second i'll just give you a little bit more information this piece is the exclusive. It was limited to 1,250 pieces. The collector's edition, so the regular edition without the extra head, um, was at 2,500 pieces were released. Basically, the height of this statue is 21 inches. The width of the statue is 8 inches. And the depth of the statue is 9 inches. And it weighs 11 pounds. So it's not that heavy compared to some of the other pieces. I don't know if you guys can see in the back of me right here, actually. Uh, we have the Conan the Barbarian. I think weighs like almost 40 pounds or 30 something pounds. And then we have uh, Gladiator Hulk on this side. You guys just can't see it, but he's another beast of a piece. So basically, um, it's a smaller piece compared to everything, but it fits perfectly in the line of women that I have here. Statues in back of me on the middle shelf. Um, basically, this retailed in Canadian when it was first released at the exclusive version, $780 Canadian, and the collector's edition at $760, basically. So there's usually about a $20 to $30 difference in the collector's edition versus the exclusive edition. If I really need that extra piece that it comes with, then I will buy the exclusive. If not, the regular collector's edition is completely fine with me and I'll save the extra $25 or $30. So basically, guys, what I'll do right now is I'll just show you guys quickly what the alternate head looks like. All right, so we have right here the alternate head. I'll do a switch out quickly on the statue itself to show you what it looks like on the statue. So there we go. We have her goggles that are on top of her head, the classic Selena Kyle style pose, I guess when she wants to look uh, a little menacing. And this head here, guys, the exclusive head is when she's in uh, full robbery mode, if you want to call it. Uh, everybody knows that Catwoman, she likes to steal things, uh, jewels and uh, money and so on and so forth. And uh, that's that's why they give her this uh, this alternate head most of the time with the goggles and one without goggles. So guys, I'll just put the um, exclusive head back here. Actually, yeah, that's it. There we go. 
magnets are quite strong. So you guys, there's a couple of pieces basically that happen. Um, there's a couple of pieces that are in this statue. So you have the head, you have the body, you have this right arm here that's on the gargoyle's head that swaps out and you have the whip that's all detachable basically and all comes in pieces when it's in the box. Um, with that being said, we'll just jump into a couple of quick little uh, lovely awesome points i don't have any negative points to say that's why i traded my previous version of catwoman for this new one this one just fit into my collection so much better and i was so excited uh, to receive this piece so we'll start actually um, with the base as you guys can see it's a gargoyle she's sitting on a gargoyle's uh, head here on the top of a or the corner of a building if you want to call it her whip she has her whip here uh, that wraps around and drapes around the side and the statue itself and the base. It's a very iconic, uh, I guess, pose if you want to call it. It's a little sensual as well. And as you guys can tell also, most of the statues that I have are, are female statues, female characters. So this piece was a no-brainer for me and had to go into the collection. Um, the pose is extraordinary. I love the back of it. The back of it is so sleek and yet the base just gives it that extra little kick that you need just for it to be displayed so nicely, you know. Um, other than that, like I can't really say anything negative about it. The color, the color of her suit is, is kind of like a black gray that blue there's like blue hints also they like they they painted most of it um if you can if you can tell there's a difference in color in her top of her suit versus um the legs and the arms as well it's kind of like a leatherette feel if you want to say on the legs and the arms as well she has uh, a little bit of leather uh on her the backpack as you can see here on the back the backpack is sculpted and it's attached to her everything is sculpted as you can see as well here, she's scratching into the gargoyle's face with those Catwoman claws that she has, her gloves on. Um, other than that, guys, it's it's a really amazing pose. The face, the face, they really, really killed the face, the sculpt in the face, and the paint is, is like perfection. Sometimes you might, um, depending on the piece, you might get eyes that are looking a little bit cross-eyed. It's, it's happened, you know, sometimes it's they're not, all perfect you're hoping to get the perfect one but if i look at her eyes her eyes look like they're staring deep into your soul basically it's a very serious playful if you want to call it also style for selena kyle uh, the cat woman so guys there's there's not much in terms of what's happening in terms of dynamics with the piece um like I said, the whip is curling around the base of the statue. I just love everything about it. No negatives uh, on this piece whatsoever. I'm giving this piece a solid, solid 9 on 10. It definitely belongs in my collection, like I was saying also. Um, and that's... I just I just love it. It's just it everything I, I envision of Catwoman, basically, uh, from the comics, it just portrays... It just portrays Catwoman perfectly. This piece is just perfect for me. So guys, as you can see right here, I told you I was going to give you a, a little snapshot, I guess, of the box itself. The box itself is super sleek, if you want to call it. So you have just a picture of the statue itself on the front with the Catwoman name, basically. Catwoman's name right there on the top. And like I said... In the bottom left corner, right there, is the Sideshow S that comes in most of the exclusive um, boxes. So nothing too extravagant, if you want to call it, with the box itself. I'll just give it a little spin. Sides, very plain, very basic. The back skyline, basically, um, that you would have for Selena Kyle. Selena Kyle always does what she has to do at night most of the time. And so... The skyline is a perfect backdrop for this box. The top basically just has Catwoman um, written on it as well. So there you guys have it, the box. Thank you for joining me here today on my channel, Collecting with Jewels. Like I said, if you found that this was interesting uh, and that this statue review was, was enjoyable, then please do consider giving a Hulk smash on that like button and do consider hitting the subscribe button if you want to see 
more statue reviews in the future as as well as comic um, reviews and opening of Pokemon cards as you've seen as well prior on my channel I did a lot of Pokemon cards uh, opening those will continue I'm just so excited to be collecting in 2020 with everything that's happening right now in the world that I'm able to still um, purchase myself these pieces um, I'm just excited to be a collector and I love everything having to do with collecting because at the end of the day you always have a story to tell on every piece you acquire, on every Pokemon card you open, on every comic book that you buy. There's always a story, guys. And as a collector, that is one of the most important things that you can have is that story. So with that being said, I really appreciate your time here today watching this video. And like I end all my videos off with my two main things, stay positive, stay cool, and we'll see you guys in the next videos. Thank you.